Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out Siemens Logo Analog Input Card. We're going to be checking out how to wire the card, how to uh, more or less have a look at it in the software, how to program it, create like a very simple small program and some uh, stuff for the screen to uh, visualize it or uh, something like that. And we're going to be using our uh, Fluke, uh, Fluke uh, process meter to generate our 4 to 10, uh, 4 to 20 milliamp uh, signal so we can uh, more or less uh, show and more simulate the process. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So uh, we already have done uh, quite a few videos and I have created a playlist for uh, um, Siemens logos. As we progress with all the bits and pieces that can be added to the logo, I'll be making a video of it, uh, how to wire and things like that, how to get yourself going. So to give you a good options uh, to show the options that are available within Siemens logo family. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we are, so as usual, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go through our uh, wiring in there and uh, this guy in there, self-explanatory in there, and you, you plug the plug the whole unit onto, onto the actual um, system in there and then just push this guy across, it's just push it down a little bit and push in, so basically it joins them up. Uh, this L plus and M in here, that's a 24 volt DC supply in there, and this L plus and M in here is sort of a Siemens added an extra point. From there on, you can these these as soon as you put power to these two, these two have it as well. So you can just spur off and go for your next card, which is quite nice of them to do. Think of that; it's pretty well done for that. So when it comes down to, to uh, this side, this is the, these guys in here. This is uh, more or less for your shielding and uh, and things like that, so shielding and earths and whatever you 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 whatever the you want to uh, add it uh, when it comes down to uh, earthing. And when you come down in here, this is where you would be pushing in your uh, analog signals. So if you look in here, you can you get uh, I1 in here, M1 and U1, or you could class that as a V1, I don't know. So I will stand for a uh, current and a V or U will stand for volts. And this M1 in here, this is your negative, pretty much. This, uh, this is because I'm uh, going to be using this guy in here, protest meter, fluke protest meter to generate our 4 to 20 milliamps so uh, your uh, sensors what are we going to use they're going to use they're going to be outputting the plus and the minus so basically this m1 is always going to stand for the minus so if you're doing a voltage minus will come in here if you're doing current the minus will come in here that's basically what the m stands for so as you can see you have two channels in here as you can see you get a 0 to 10 volts or 0 to 20 milliamps i think the later cards or um, I do believe the later cards I had that does do both uh, zero to uh, uh, zero to uh, zero to twenty and four to twenty. So uh, so yeah. So so my one doesn't. My one does a zero to twenty milliamps, and that's pretty much what there is about the wiring. So just so power goes in here. Same as for this one unit in there. and uh, inputs is going in here. And I for the current and uh, V for a. Um, uh, volts in here, and as, as you can see, my protest meter in here at the moment. Let me just zoom it out a little bit. So, this protest meter, what I'm gonna do is you're gonna send, I'm gonna be sending in, as you can see, I crudely and I mean very crudely created like a, like a bar. You can create a bar, there's so many different things. I'm gonna show that in a minute in the software. There's so many things you can do. I just uh, to, uh, have some form of display in here. But before we go ahead, as, uh, to have a look what analogs are working. So basically, it will take, if analog card is there, the first ones, it will start counting them as the units go progress. So uh, this is the first card for analog units. It will count these, analog one and analog two in here, and then so on and so on. So and to see that, so uh, just uh, go, uh, oh, what am I doing in there? Go across, uh, just uh, go into your monitoring uh, window in here and then go across until you see AI1. As you can see down here, you can see that the uh, 1 and a 2 has got 4 in the end. So that's pretty much, I don't know what the 4 stands for, but pretty much is giving you an idea that those uh, both analog inputs are live. So and as you can see down here, as I move my uh, 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 milliamps up, the values will be changing. And it comes from a uh, from uh, well, from zero all the way to one thousand. So in the software, we have created a, a small um, program where where we're pretty much comparing 
turn things on when you reach uh, I think it's 600 and turn things off when it's, uh, it is 450 at the moment I have not put a live cable to my uh, relay in here so at the moment it's switch it relay is switching but no, nothing is uh, coming on because pretty much uh, that's uh, because it's, uh, we don't want that yet so uh, so yeah once you go through it so um, uh, so uh, and let me go here we go so then this is where this is where the bar you can see down here so uh, as I move up as you can see bar moves up I can get to go lower as well if I wish I can really finely do it if I really wanted to oh, that doesn't as you can see how finely this meter can do is really high high level meter gives you some really good fine tune if you really want to do anything with it so that's pretty much fluke so yeah that's pretty much giving you ideas what to do so let's jump on the computer and then and, and check out a uh, basically a small program here we are this is the basic continuation is what we did in the last time but this time i already took a liberty and create the uh great at the program already so you don't have to drag on to video watch it this is an analog signal new analog one so if you go down here, so uh, where's the analog inputs? Did I just, yeah, so just grab one of those analog inputs and just pretty much tell it which analog input it is. So you can select it in here, available analog inputs, and you already know my analog input is a, uh, uh, in uh, input one. So uh, that's pretty much that. And then from there on, it's gonna be uh, sort of sending a value into this guy in here. So let's quickly go into the uh, monitoring so you can sort of be able to see the actual value that is already in there. So uh, was it or not? That's not possible. So the program is not, so it's not identical. Really? Okay. In that case, let's uh, yes, let's transfer. I thought it might may oh maybe because I moved this guy in here. That's why. One second. Let's get this stuff uh, program into the actual logo. Yes, there you go, thank you, put it back in, and now let's put it back into a monitor mode, and that should be the same, come on, and as you can see down there, when we walked away, it shows down here, this is your value in there already, which is uh, standing at 400, so this is basically a, your monitor mode, but I'm going to run you through in a minute the program I have set up in here. So this is uh, analog in here. So basically this analog has been more or less uh, sent into this guy. And this guy you pretty much tell him what sensor you're going to be using. Uh, even too, look at that. You can actually get analog car 420 milliamp. Ooh, didn't know that. That's something we might be checking out in the future. But here we go. So that's pretty much, uh, that's the range we are working with. So this, this is where you can send the minimum range, the maximum range when it comes down to a measurement. And then, then there's a parameter gains and offsets in here you can choose and then you can see the thresholds. So I, I'm saying uh, come on when you reach 500 and come off a, when it goes uh, uh, come, come off when it goes below uh, 450. It's quite straightforward so pretty much just send your base, uh, basic range and as these ranges are, are reached it will uh, turn things on and off as your if you're looking for, for uh, I don't know for the pump or uh, that where you want to monitor the level of the water or there's oh my god there's so many little things you can do uh, so basically that's what this compare would be able to give you uh, allow you to do so in here what I created this is, is it's a, a high which is always on pretty much so and it's always uh, is, is keeping this um, I opened another screen in here created another screen and in this another screen, I uh, I set this up priority two. So whatever, which the higher the priority, the more, the the first screen is going to be displayed with the higher priority. You're going to show in a minute once you get back to the screen. And in here, you can select the I zero I one. So it's what you want to display, and it will throw that on the screen as a value. Well, we don't want to do that now because we already got one. And in here also, you can uh, once you create uh, some form of if you go down there, so this uh, this kind of comparison in there, you are able to create a bar. So uh, allow it because there's there's all sorts of different things. It's just giving you a basic explanation in here, not explanation, sort of idea what I'm trying to do. And it's a possibility. So obviously there's a whole load you can do. But in here, what I did. So I added the bar as well. So uh, when I click on it, and as you can see, that's the one available analog, analog comparator. And you can set the actual values in here and so, so what range is watching so and horizontal and width and blah blah you can select whatever you want on it so that will uh, pretty much is uh, is popping up on the screen down there as a bar so it's giving you another idea what you can do with it 
so that's pretty much that's it you are now you can start work with your analog values and this is pretty much like a very 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 crude nothing too fancy crude basic let me just see if we can we're gonna do and make this bit come on oh ooh. let's put it right in the middle is that gonna be in the middle I don't think it will, uh, probably will be no probably one back no one more back that's it that could be in the middle yeah I think so that would be middle and there we go so let's bump this in so there we go ladies and gentlemen this is how uh, the analog values would work and from there on you have a whole load of things you can do with those analog values to to create uh, some fantastic projects it's very easy to work with uh, Siemens uh, Siemens logo so it's got very very fancy very fancy programming in here so uh, and it's got a whole lot of options for you to explore in here so so here we go that's in the controller so let's jump on the controller and see how that works here we are so uh, as you've already seen it before here we go so uh, when I move around as you can see the values are changing as milliamps goes up if you want to so you can put that like a like a tank full and things like that as you can see as I go up up to the day up to uh, 600 that because it's gone past 500 it turns on the conveyor belt and it runs the conveyor belt that could be anything pump or or, or man, whatever you can come up with so as you can see it goes all the way to a one uh, thousand and see if I can if I go higher than uh, to 24 milliamp it doesn't do anything it just stops at that so uh, here we go so and as you can see it will go below it went below to 450 and it shut the, shut the system down so obviously this all can be inverted in all different ways it can be done but that ladies and gentlemen will be a great way for you guys to explore the great ideas you can have with a, a logo and analog cards analog cards are very good so where you can and uh, where you can more or less uh, uh, do some very very high practice controls if it is required and that ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen it is a zero to uh, i mean the analog input card and by the way there's analog input card that actually has a because uh, i believe this one is just zero to 20 uh, but the ones uh, that i just checked out online there is a card that has a zero and four milli uh, four to twenty milliamp so these options are available if you need so that will do ladies and gentlemen next video we're going to be checking out this guy out at the rtd analog input card so uh thank you very much for watching you do don't forget to smash that like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here want to support us and so yeah so thank you very much for watching and any questions things like that do ask them in, in the comment section below uh, regarding when it comes down to programming i am not a greatest programmer so uh, don't ask me complex questions about programming because I am more or less in the service engineer rather than doing programming because I find that really, really boring. So, but I do like uh, the technology and testing things and playing with them and things like that. So, uh, yeah. So, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.